Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Acto Tips. Today we're going to take a look at adding actions to your flip chart. A flip chart is very different than a PowerPoint in that a flip chart is asking for interaction. Someone needs to click on something to have something else pop up. So here I am in presentation mode and you can see that there's a blue circle with a white triangle inside it which indicates that this is an action. So when I click on this, the other image on the page spins. How did I set this up? Well, I'm first going to toggle into design mode so you can see what it looks like. Here I can see that there is a red line around my object that I've made in action. Let me open up my browsers. I'm going to go over here to the actions browser. Now right now all my actions are grayed out because I don't have anything selected. So I'm going to click on this object right here. And you can see of all the actions, I've chosen angle incrementally. We could make it hide and show something else as well. Let's try hide. This is one of the first actions that people set up in their flip chart because it's kind of like a PowerPoint where things are going to pop up. Now you're going to see this target here. And remember, these three dots are always indicating to you all the things that are on your flip chart. When I click on them, I can see a list of all the objects or images on my flip chart. And this is what I want to disappear. So I'm going to push OK. And I need to hit Apply Changes. If I don't hit Apply Changes, the action won't work. The action also won't work in Design Mode. So I need to go back to Presentation Mode. So I'm going to toggle this red dot back to the blue dot. Now when I click on it, the object disappears. Hidden as a binary action, it will hide and then reveal. So when I click again, it will show back up. Here's that hidden action in action. So you can see when I look at the browsers, when I click on this, it's setting up to be hidden. So it's revealing something underneath it. So to set this page up, I added all the text and then I put the balloons on the middle layer on top of the text. If we go back into design mode, we can see each of these has that red line around it, and each one is set up for an action that hides. What's interesting about this is that the target property here is that same object. If you don't choose anything in target property, it will be that same object that you've just added to your page. Let's take a look at creating one from scratch. So here I'm starting with a blank page, and I'm going to add two shapes. I have a green triangle and a yellow bar. I'm going to have the yellow bar make the green triangle move. So let's go into the Actions browser. And because I have this selected, you can see all the actions have come up. So let me have this flip the triangle in the x-axis. There are so many different actions that you can set up. I'm going to go to my target and I'm going to choose my shape and I'm going to make sure I hit apply changes and let's check this out. I can see that I'm in design mode so I need to go back to presentation mode and now it's going to flip it. It's going to keep flipping it so this isn't the same action where it flips it back. If you wanted to flip it back you could set up another uh, a reset action. Let me move this back. Let's try it again. Actions are divided into different categories. Command actions are going to bring up a tool or a command on the page. Page actions would take you to another page or go back a page. Object actions are actions that are happening to other objects, including move, angle, hide, or show. Voting actions would be to start or stop a vote. And document media actions will bring up websites or start videos or sounds for you. Hope you've enjoyed watching today's active tip. 